We will see OneNote, the hierarchy, and I'll show you my two favorite general tips. So basically, we will open the notebook, and then in notebook, you can create sections. These sections, you can group under section group. And in any section, you can create pages. And in any page, you can create the subpage. So basically, the hierarchy is notebook, section group, section, page, and subpage. Let's take a look. And we will start with one note hierarchy. Here I have my notebook opened. I can open another notebook if I have it, or I can add another notebook. We can create the sections by clicking on plus and name it like Norway, for example, here I have one already created named Paella, Spanish Paella, with the receipt of it. And here we can copy paste any information from web page. When we will copy it, the link will be copied automatically. And you can, clicking by this link, you can go to this page related. You can add photos and also change the size of it and the size of the page as well here we have this page edit we can rename it by by right clicking and rename the lead cut copy and so on and also we can add a sub page to this by clicking on add page you can right click on this new page scroll down and convert it in make sub page and here in sub page, you can rename it as well and say Paella from Valencia, for example. Okay, so let me add another section and we convert sections in section group. We can right click on any sections, add a new section, new section group. And here we have it, we can name it as travels, for example. And here we can and we can move any section to the section group. We can go back by clicking on this row and move another section to the section group. And now in this section group travels, we have two sections, Norway and Madagascar. And click on this row and go back and have another sections here. And the next one is use tags. Let's see how to do it. To tag any notes you have added here is a really cool tip. Let's take a look. You can highlight any note you would like to tag go to taskbar if you do not have it here you can click on any tab and it will be appeared here as well you need to go to home tab then to tag section and here you will click on drop down menu and change any tag you would like to do list and important are my favorite one but you can check any project or book to read of or any 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 one there are a lot of and also you can customize tags you can create your own tag let's choose this one important and you can see it will be click on important and also you can click to do list and you have here two tags to do and important Let's create another section and write it work. And for example, here I will add let me put any word here. And let's say that we would like to, to highlight this note. We will go to tax group and highlight it. And now how we will search all tags we have in our notebook. 
let me go back here to quick net and we will go here to tax group click on find tax and here you have all important tax created and here to do list and it's really great and why i like this tag summary as well because you can click on any tag and it will be open and highlight as well and to why i really like to do this because here by clicking on it you can select that it is done or not and how to unhighlight it you can go to the tag tab select it all you need to remove and click on it and in important click on it and it will be removed and the last one is immersive reader my favorite one let's take a look to activate it you will go to view tab click on it and here you can choose from the tools immersive reader you cl can click on immersive reader and you can see the same text here. So you can adjust the text by the size and you can increase spacing or not. You can change the font and you can change the themes. You can add more colors from here and you can adjust the text as well in grammar way it's really cool and then you can also focus by line and you can activate a dictionary and then you can click on play recipe a large skillet full of chicken and seafood paella and also you can adjust the setting by change the voice selection and the voice speed as well paella Add olive oil to a skillet over medium heat. Add the onion, bell peppers and garlic and cook until onion is translucent. It's great, right? And that's all. Thank you for watching.